the Council of African Descendants in the Gambia that have repatriated permanently have raised concerns about their non-inclusion in the recent 2020 draft constitution. The Council on Tuesday was launched and alongside organized a press conference at the Hyperlink Village Resort in Kololi. Members of the Council raised numerous concerns of not being part of Chapter 4 of the draft constitution which deals with citizenship. We as people coming over to this country to settle, we've contributed quite a lot to the country and we found ourselves particularly very recently in a very, very awkward situation where our contribution almost amounts to nothing in the eyes of the people who are in, in power here. This really come to, came to the fore when we started to look at the constitution and what it meant for us as people who were resettling here. Because the constitution basically um, labeled us as aliens. It had no reference to who we are and whereas in places like um, Ghana, you know, people were welcoming back people from that diaspora with open arms and giving them automatic citizenship. And, you know, here we're fighting for automatic citizenship because we feel that what, what Gambians have to realize is that we are you and you are us, you know. We weren't asked to be taken away from Africa. We were taken away from Africa. So our foreparents were maybe your aunties or your uncles or maybe your grandparents or great-grandparents. They knew my great-grandparents and, you know, we were taken from here. So to be, to come back here after all the struggles of slavery and all the other things that we've been through, to come back here and then be called aliens and have to jump through hoops in the same way as we have been doing in Europe or in America or in any of these places. It's a little bit disheartening. So although the CRC listened to our submissions, we made 72 of them, um, uh, it seems as though they only went so far as the report is concerned. Now that's a grave concern to us because the constitution that is now being debated on, now being discussed and read, um, has impact on us uh, for many, many years moving forward. So uh, the aspect of citizenship for us has had no material change. 15 years. We have to wait 15 long years through the process of naturalization to get citizenship here. Although other international rules and laws indicate five years is sufficient in other places. But in Gambia, it's 15 long years. Juliet Ryan, co-founder of Blackie's YouTube channel and secretary for court, moved to the Gambia with her family from the UK after discovering that her ancestors were enslaved from the Gambia. As a result of an interview which I did with him then, which went viral, um, he encouraged me to uh, start a channel showing the best of the best of the best of the Gambia, which I was only too pleased to do because of the fact that I've been coming here with my family since 2011. And I fell in love with Gambia, um, let's just say from the first step. When we arrived at the airport, we were told, welcome back to your ancestral home. No one in the world, I've been to 28 countries, and no one in the world has ever welcomed me back to my ancestral home. <coughs> and that has uh, touched me throughout my whole life. Um, in fact, it touched me so deeply that we sold our house, that we sold everything, my cars, everything, um, to come back here to live where we live permanently now. Luke McKenzie, chair of the council, stated that there are a lot more people in the diaspora that are planning to relocate to the Gambia with huge investment plans. We want to feel at home, but we don't want to keep repeating, repeating and asking. You know, we are no, we are, we are no threat to anybody. We, we, we want to open hospitals, high-end hospitals. We want to open new schools. We want to open new factories and new industries. At, right at this very moment, there is companies waiting to invest in the Gambia. The last company that I was dealing with wanted to invest four million pounds into the Gambia. 
through the diasporans. And one of our diasporans was trying to speak to your minister, one of the ministers and could not get an appointment. Um, the other investments that we have is people are building housing estates. You know, um, the, the other one that they, they've, they, they're waiting to invest in is another one where they want to um, clean up all the waste of the Gambia and turn that waste into, into um, energy. You know, so all your waste become energy. And they're not asking you for any money. They, however, added that they will not give up on trying to have a citizenship. With or without a citizenship, they will still contribute to the growth of the Gambia because they have its best interests at heart. Reporting for the Fatu Network News Review, Jack Assisi Jete.